Hello guys! Welcome sa ating PC LTE Review number 11. And for today's video, ituturo ko sa inyo ng detalyado ang real property tax computation. May inihanda po akong dalawang sample computation. And I hope masundan ninyo ang aking ituturo. Number 1. The local assessor was taxing an idle agricultural land consisting of 2 hectares, valued at 200 pesos per square meter. If the idle land tax imposed is 5% paid the ordinance, how much will the owner pay for the idle land tax? Kung mapapansin niyo, silent si assessed value. So kinakailangan i-compute muna natin si assessed value bago natin makuha si tax due. Sa tingin nyo, anong sagot dyan? Pula ko, ang isasagot nyo dyan is 200,000. Ano? Pero questionable po si 200,000. Tara, tingnan natin kung paano. 2 hectares is equivalent to 20,000 square meter. Valued per square meter 200 pesos. Ang halaga niya per, per square meter is 200 pesos. At ito ang inyong tatandaan. Ang assessment level for agricultural land is 40%. At ang tax imposed for idle land is 5%. So, kunin muna natin si assessed value. Paano nga ba? So, ito yung formula. Assessed value equals area multiply natin kay fair market value then multiply natin kay assessment level so assessment level ayan so ang area natin is 20,000 multiply natin sa fair market value na 200 pesos then assessment level na 40% so ang assessed value natin is 1.6 million yan nakuha niyo po ngayon kunin na natin ang tax due so ang tax due is assessed value multiply natin sa tax imposed tax rate. Yan. Alright, ang assessed value natin is 1.6 million. Multiply natin sa 5%. So, ang tax din natin is 80 thousand pesos. Tignan natin. So, this is the correct answer. 80,000 pesos. Nakuha nyo na po. So, ganyan muna yung gagawin nyo kapag ka silent si assessed value. Ayan. Next question. Ito naman. What will be the total basic real property taxes to be paid by a lot owner if his land consisting of 5 square meter has a fair market value of 10,000 per square meter and is classified as commercial? The tax rate is the maximum imposable by the city. So, ang tanong, commercial. So, aalamin natin. Ilan ang assessment level ni commercial at magkano yung maximum imposable tax rate ng city. Pula ko ang sagot niyo dito is 100,000 na no. Questionable po yan. So tingnan na natin kung paano kinuha ang tax due in this question. 
So, ang area natin is 500 square meter. Ang value per square meter is 10,000 pesos. Kasi city na po yun, mura pa nga po yun. Pero pag sa iba, eh, mahal na po ang value ng lupa sa cities. Then, ito, ang assessment level is for commercial land is 50%. At ang maximum tax rate ano, imposable by a city is 2%. So, hindi natin. Punin muna natin si assessed value. So, this is the formula again. Assessed value equals to area. Multiply natin. Multiply natin sa fair market value. Again. Then, sa assessment level. So, pasensya na po yung sulat ko. Alright. 500 square meter. Multiply natin sa 10,000 pesos na fair market value. Then, multiply natin sa assessment level na 50%. So, ang assess value natin is 2,500,000. So, kunin na natin ang tax due. Ayan. Tax due is equal assess value multiply by tax rate. Tax rate. So, 2.5 million Multiply natin sa 2% na tax rate. So, ang basic tax due natin is 50,000. So, basic lang po ito. Basic. Mayroon pa po tayong tinatawag na SEF tax. So, 1% po yan, which is 1% ng assess value. 1% of assess value. So, so, ang, so, ang tanong lang naman is what is the uh, tax, uh, tax due? Ayan. Tingnan natin. Ang tanong lang naman is basic real property tax. So, hindi kasama si SEF. Ayan. Pag sinabing Doon sa question is, what is the basic in SEF? Yun. That's the time na isasama natin sa computation si SEF. And that's all for today's video, guys. Hanggang sa muli, maraming salamat. At pag may mga gusto po kayong uh, questions, linawin patungkol sa real property tax, just comment down below. Bye! Hanggang sa muli!